So someone you know just gave you what is called a map turtle. You Google map turtle and you see a bunch of pictures of map turtles that may or may not resemble the animal that you have. Currently there are 14 different species and two subspecies of map turtles recognized today. It can be pretty confusing for a new map turtle keeper to properly identify their animal. This video will help you easily identify the type of map turtle that you have. To keep things simple, map turtles can be divided into three groups according to their head size. The big headed, medium headed, and the small or narrow headed types of map turtles. The following three species of map turtles are some of the most common map turtles and most likely to encounter at your local pet shop or reptile stores. These are the medium sized head map turtles. They are the false map turtle, the Mississippi map turtle, Wachita map turtle, and the common map turtle also known as the northern map turtle. False map turtles. Some characteristics are hockey stick shapes behind each eye, brown eyes, brown to yellowish mouth. Mississippi map turtle. Easily identified by its crescent shaped markings behind each eye. It has white eyes and white mouth. Wachita map turtle. Rectangular to oval shaped markings behind each eye. It has white eyes and white mouth just like the Mississippi maps. It closely resembles the Sabine map turtle however with some obvious differences which we'll talk about it later. The common map also known as the northern map turtle has a very wide distribution area. It inhabits an area from South Quebec and Ontario to northern Vermont. It is possibly the flattest of all map species. It has a more circular orbital mark behind each eye with very thin lateral lines running from its head down to its neck. The eyes can be yellow to brown with a brown to yellowish mouth. These three types of map turtles can easily interbreed with one another and therefore hybridization may be common. The next group of map turtles that I will be talking about are the big headed map turtles. The big headed maps are the Alabama map, Barber's map, Gibbons, also known as Pascagoula map, Pearl River map, and Escambia River map. The Gibbons, also known as the Pascagoula map, once thought as a single species of the Pearl River map turtle, it is now confirmed as a separate species morphologically and geologically. Endemic to the Pascagoula River system, it closely resembles the Pearl River map turtle with a black line running down its keel. However, this line is broken and not as solid unlike the Pearl River map. The Pascagoula map turtle tends to be more brightly colored compared to the Pearl River map. Another distinguishable feature is the markings on the 12th marginal scutes. It is 50% greater than compared to that of the Pearl River map turtle. Alabama map turtle. The black line running down the keel on the carapace is less pronounced than compared to any other map turtle in the group. Interorbital and postorbital blotches are connected. Concentric yellow circles on the dorsal sides of marginal scutes lack spots on the back of its head and missing nasal trident. The Iscambia map turtle. It has a nasal trident, spots on the back of its head, and lack of a curved or transverse bar on the underside of the chin. The Barber's map turtle. The largest of all the map turtle species. Identified by a narrow interorbital blotch that ends in a point on the rostrum and a transverse bar on the lower jaw. And finally, we have the narrow headed map turtles also referred to as the sawback map turtles, a name given to these turtles for the extreme serrated high keels on younger animals and males of the species. Females of this group also have the small heads as the male. Sabine map turtle. Very similar to the Wachita map turtle, Sabine map turtles are a smaller animal compared to that of the Wachita map turtles. Sabines have a smaller head even in the females and with a much higher dome-shaped carapace compared to that of the Wachita map turtles. The orbital markings behind the eyes are noticeably much smaller 
compared to that of the Wachita map turtle as well. The yellow blotched map turtle, endemic to the Pascagoula River system and several northern tributaries, it would be pretty difficult to misidentify this species of map turtle. However, variation in shell coloration do occur in nature, and not all yellow blotched map turtles have the yellow blotch coloring. Some sport more of an orange coloring than yellow, and some sport rings on the carapace rather than blotches, looking more like a ring map turtle. The ring map turtle, endemic to the Pearl and Bogue Chito rivers in Mississippi and Louisiana. Similar to the yellow blotch map turtle, a ring in the center of each carapace scute distinguishes it from the yellow blotch map turtle. Everything in Texas is big. Uh, not that kind of big. Well, everything except their map turtles. Reaching a whopping length of just 2.75 inches in adult males, the Texas map turtle is the smallest of all map turtle species. The eyes are yellow in color with a partial bar through the pupil. One of the main identifying feature of the Texas map turtle is the three bright yellow or yellow-orange circles on the chin. Next is the black knob map turtles. The black knob map turtles is divided into two subspecies, the northern black knobs and the southern black knobs. At first, they are seemingly identical. However, these two map turtles can be easily identified from each other by their color on their plastron. The northern has a yellowish-orange plastron, while the southern types display a tiger-like pattern. Last but not least, we have the Kegel's map turtle. Named after a person who really likes turtles, Kegel's map turtles are the only green-colored map turtle species. Due to its coloration, I think it should have been named the Hulk map turtle. Another feature of this turtle are the bright lines on its head and skin area with a noticeable V shape on the back of its head. It has white eyes and white mouth, and males, as are with all map turtle species, are considerably smaller than the females. Map turtles are some of the most popular species kept as pets worldwide. Knowing what species you have would be a great start in knowing what your map turtle requirements are. I hope this video has helped you in some way better identify your map turtle. And if you have enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and click the bell icon for more contents like this.